my channel. My name is Kelsey and I am a senior photographer here in Richmond, Virginia and this channel is my little corner of the social world where I like to share some helpful tips and tricks for your senior photography business. Today I want to share with you just how easy it is to design and order an album within the program CloudSpot. If you've been here for a while you know that I absolutely love CloudSpot but if you're new here, then, well, first of all, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. But secondly, CloudSpot is the program that I use to send out all of my clients' galleries. So seniors, weddings, brands, all the things. I even use it for my own personal photos just to store them and have them. But it is literally my favorite program that I use in my entire business. I think it's so user-friendly, my clients love it, and it's also just super beautiful. Over the past six years that I've been in business, I've tried out several different types of gallery services, and none of them compared to CloudSpot. It's so easy to use, you can customize it to fit your brand, and overall it's just so beautiful. And one of my favorite features about CloudSpot is the fact that you can set up your storefront, or the shop um, is what it's called inside of CloudSpot, um, but that's where your clients can order their images as prints, canvases, albums, graduation cards, all the things. And it's so easy to set up and have available for your clients so that you are also making a little bit of a profit after you've already delivered your images. And before we dive in and I show you the back end of my screen and how we're going to design the album, um, I just wanted to let you know that I have an affiliate code with CloudSpot and it gives you 50% off your first year. 50%. I know, it sounds too good to be true, but CloudSpot is just that awesome, and if you want to check it out or try it out for free, um, click that link down below in the description and you can get 50% off your very first year. Okay, so I'm going to start my screen recording on the back end so that you can see exactly how we're going to design the album, and I'm going to walk you through the whole process. So let's jump in over here. Okay, so this is just kind of like the home screen of your client's gallery when they first get the link. Um, it takes them to this page here, and then they would open the gallery. But I just want to say this could be, you could share this video with your clients to give them a better understanding of how to design an album, or this is how you as the photographer can design your album. So this is exactly how the, what the clients see when they are going through the checkout process and the whole shop and designing of the album, uh, the whole process that they would go through. Um, it would be the same for you. And what I've done in the past is I've used CloudSpot to design an album for a client, and then I just sent her a separate invoice with the price of the album before I ordered it. That way there's no confusion on how does she pay for it or how do I do this? So I would just send them a separate invoice and then you can follow through with the order of the album. So um, let's dive into this gallery and I'll show you exactly how I design my albums. This is Kendall, she's one of my senior reps. So let's open up her gallery here. Um, these are just some of my favorites that I chose for the sake of this video. Um, so this is what my clients see as soon as they get their gallery. Um, they'll have a little KMP favorites button, um, and then which is all the best of the best that I choose, which are normally their sneak peek pictures. And then after that, it'll be the whole gallery of all their photos included. Um, but that's a whole other video. So let's just talk about the shop for now. Um, and what your client's gonna see is the shop now button up on the right hand corner. Um, there's also a button over on the left side. So two options, you can't, literally can't miss it. So let's go into the shop. You can change the header image of the shop. You can change the banner text to whatever you want to say there. Um, this is just my general code that I have for everybody when they get their galleries. So let's dive into the album process. So I'm just going to choose this linen album because that's the most popular one that I get. And we are going to choose a size and there's they have a few different size options. I always think the 10 by 10 is the best option. If you want to go big and go bold, go for the 12 by 12, but the 10 by 10 is always my favorite size. So we're going to choose that. We're going to choose our color. I'm going to go with pink because why would I not? <laughs> and then your client's just going to hit on design album. Then once you log in, it'll take you to the design page. And this is what the design page looks like. Over on the right hand corner, you have the option for a few different cover types. One being the full material, which is what you see right here. Um, so there'll be nothing added to the front. It's just that linen cover or leather or whichever, um, whichever cover material you choose. And then they have an option for a picture cameo, which you can include a little square or a picture here. And then also the kind of like three-fourths 
image i don't know what size that is <laughs> but it takes up the majority of the front cover which i think is beautiful for senior albums i just ordered one recently that i designed for a client and we chose this option and it was stunning i'll try to include a picture on the screen here what it looked like but it was perfect so the second thing you want you're going to want to adjust in the album design page is the in leaf so it's the second option on the tops in the top bar and this is what that very first page is going to look like when you open the album. It's what's attached to the front cover and the back cover. And I always go for the textured white. You can also change it to black or a smooth black finish, but I think the white is the prettiest, especially with the photos. It's just a very nice contrast and blends in all well together. So once you have all that laid out, it's super easy to come in and plug in your images. Um, so I'm just gonna start with these right here that are right in front, cause my head is covering the other ones. Um, so let's just start here. And literally all you have to do is drag and drop it on the spread. And however many photos that you bring up to the page, it will automatically put it into a design. But over here on the right hand corner is you can, um, you can customize and change up the layout of the images, which I think is super cool and super easy. You don't have to go in and manually change all these and design it yourself. They already have some pre-made layouts for you that I think are super beautiful and look really nice with the images. So let's see, if I was doing these three images on a page, I'd probably stick with three vertical images and not crop them down to squares or like a landscape. So let's see, there's also a button that says more layout so you can see all the different options. And I love the look of this one, so I'm gonna go with this, but I want to switch around these two images. Um, when I am designing my blog post or I'm a designing an album, I try to pair pictures that, that contrast nicely with each other. And these two images are great, I love them. However, I don't think they're as pleasing to the eye as they could be. So I am going to switch this picture with this one. There should be a little button that pops up that says swap and it'll flip them around. And you may ask, why did I do that? And I did that because Kendall's face here, she's looking over her shoulder to the right on this page, or on this image, and in this image, she's looking over her shoulder to the left. So I'm gonna have those looking in towards each other instead of looking away from each other. And I could go into so much detail about this and my reasons behind them, but I'm talking about designing an album today. So we're gonna skip out on that, but that's just a little extra tip for you. <laughs> so. I, this is one of my favorite images from Kindle Session, so I'm going to leave that as a giant image on this page here, and we'll move on to the next, and I'm just going to keep going down the line with these images. Um, I personally love, love, love to have a full spread image of one of my great like landscape images that I've taken, so I would definitely choose this image for a full spread image. I think that is so beautiful. Um, it's like a big surprise when you open the book and it just looks amazing. So I'm not even going to change this. So I'm going to do this last one here for page five. I'm just dragging and dropping. You can also, if you click on an image and then click on another image, you can pull in multiple images at a time. So let me show that to you again. I'll remove those. And when I come down here, I'm going to click on this image and this image and this image, and it'll highlight them all. And then you can just drag and drop all three images to the page at one time, which is super convenient. Um, let's see. I love this layout here. I think that is beautiful, but obviously, of course, you could switch it up again. Okay, so once you've gone in and designed the whole album, you'll just click this button down here at the bottom that says review. And it will take you to this page here where you, where you can open it up and click through all the different pages and see how it looks. Here's the inside, that very first page, the end leaves that I was talking about earlier. Um, spread one, two, three, four, and five. And then this would be the very end page. And then you can just click the little downsize button again and it'll take you back to the checkout. Um, you can even, if you are designing this for a client, all you have to do to share the album with them so they can see it and approve it, um, there's a little button over here it's called Share Proof, and if you click that, it will take you to this page and you can just copy the link and send it to your client so they can approve it or make any changes they want. Um, so let's go back to our page here. 
and it also gives you the option for a photo luster look to it or a smooth matte. I always go for the photo luster. It just makes it a little shiny um, and not just so flat. I think it kind of brings images to life a little bit more. And then you can also insert a thicker board for your pages. I just leave mine how they are. I don't think they're too thin or too thick. So I just leave them as, as is. And then you would just click checkout and it takes you to the checkout page um, to order it, pay for it, the whole deal. So that is how I use CloudSpot to design my albums. And like I said, this is exactly how your client would design their own album, or you can do this from a design standpoint and you can send, you can share the proof with them. All right, friends, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want to see some more CloudSpot tutorials, I would be more than happy to film those for you. I already have a few ideas up my sleeve um, for some more CloudSpot tutorials coming soon. So if you want to be able to see those, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Um, you can turn on those little notifications so that you never miss another video when it goes live. If you don't already, be sure that you are following me over on Instagram. My username is at kelseymarie.photo um, for all the updates and all the fun things going on. And don't forget too that the 50% off link is down in the description for CloudSpot. It's 50% off your whole first year, which is just incredible. And I just love CloudSpot. And if I could tell you one thing, it's to join CloudSpot if you're a photographer. And that's going to be it for today's video. I love you all and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!